Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. So Chris and I were watching a movie last night and he was craving some peanut butter cookies. But I didn't wanna have to make the kind where you have like 10 different ingredients. So I was watching a video by Black Cat Kitchen the other day. They had one for three ingredient peanut butter cookies. I'll post a link to their channel down below. So I wanted to try it. Plus I added one more thing, some mini Reese's uh yeah, Reese's Pieces to it, and they were really good. So stay tuned. So for my recipe, I'm using one cup of granulated sugar, one large egg, and one cup of smooth peanut butter, like Jif, not uh, the natural kind. And then I'm adding these little mini Reese's Pieces, or you could just use the regular size ones as well. Now I just was uh, whisking my egg in a bowl, then you're gonna add your sugar, for some reason it was lumpy, I don't know why. <laughs> and then just beat that till it's smooth. And then go ahead and add in your one cup of peanut butter. Now you guys, I sprayed the measuring cup first and it came out almost all the way. So I would advise you to do that. Okay, now it was uh, really hot last night. So it's a little bit, uh, the dough is a little bit too loose. And once I added in the Reese's Pieces, I just refrigerated it uh, for just 10 or 15 minutes, and then it was good to go. Now I'm using a cookie scoop. I think this is a two tablespoon, or you could use a one tablespoon, or you can just roll it into a ball. And then just take a fork and you can make those little crisscross hatches that peanut butter cookies have. And you're gonna bake this for 350 nine minutes if you want them soft and chewy or 10 to 11 minutes if you like them more a little dark and crispy and this is how they look so i'm going to taste one of the soft ones here i like the soft and chewy these were absolutely perfect inside so you guys give these a try i know you're going to love them see now how that one's a little bit darker so let's go ahead and try this one yum absolutely delicious and it could not been could have not been easier so thanks so much for watching and we will see you on the next video bye everybody